Hey, how's it going today, everybody? My name is William Tran. Today, we're going to make a shot go from something like this to something like this. This is the standard lighting setup, and I know I kind of just copied Parker Walbeck there, but the thing is, he does it a lot better if you guys want to watch that video instead. But since you're already here, you might as well watch this video. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible for you guys. I'm going to be using these Dazzny LED light panels, which you can get a pack of three for $300 on Amazon. So we're going to start from the very beginning. Now you can see my exposure is really strange, but I'm not going to talk about exposure in this episode. Today we're going to talk all about the lights. So the first thing you're going to want to do, turn off your main lights. That's in like, turn off the lights that are connected to your fan, turn off the lights that are in the room in general. Unless you know you can add on to that. But for this particular look, turn off the main lights. Now you can't see anything, so that's strange. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to introduce the first light. It's going to be the, the subject light. The subject light is just the light that accounts for most of the light that is being casted onto your subject. Depending on the type of look that you want, you can place the light in a whole bunch of different areas right now. But for this kind of particular effect, we're going to be putting it just about 45 degrees to the left or to the right of whichever place your subject is. What that does is creates a drop shadow on the side of my face, making me look a little bit more three-dimensional. Let's keep moving on. Next thing we're going to add is the hair light, rim light, or back light. In this particular case, the light is a little bit higher and it's shining onto my hair for the most part. So we're going to be calling it a hair light in this situation. So the hair light has one specific purpose. It's to create something called the halo effect. So you can see there's an outline around my head and a little bit on my shoulders. This creates a good separation between you and your background, which is why we're going to the next one called the background light. The background light is exactly what it sounds like. It lights at the background and this one, I actually have a blue film over it right now. So you can create a big separation between me and my background. This further pushes the orange and teal look, or also known as the Sam Calder look, which is the most appealing to the eye whenever people are watching films. This is very likable in most films because it creates a whole lot of contrast. So if you look at the shot right now, I'm heavily contrasted from my background because of color. We have a blue-ish background and I have orange skin tones, and orange and blue lie on the opposite sides of the color wheel. This is why I'm popping out so much from my background, you're only focused on me. And if you want to go one more step, you can go for the credit light. The credit light is normally never used to contribute to actual lighting in the scene. It's only there to give credit to the colors of light or what would be giving off light in the scene. In this case, my room was a little bit small, so it doesn't really work and it actually is starting to change that blue-ish color that you're seeing. But really, it's only there for educational purposes at this point. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And remember, I am still filming this on an iPhone 8. The reason why I'm still shooting on an iPhone is just to show you guys that you don't need a $7,000 cinema camera to make your shots look great. Though I will say that filmmaking is not exactly free. That's the long and the gist of it. I'm sorry, you're going to have to purchase some equipment here and there. But remember, you can still achieve the same look with simple house lamps. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational. And if you guys want to see a little bit more into lighting, you should definitely go check out Parker Walbeck's channel. He does a great job. Once again, everybody, remember your film was only just as good as the fun that you had creating it. My name is William Tran. Thanks for watching.